I'm Davide from Torino, named Pascu. Oh, ma che cazzo dici allora? Parlo così. <laughs> Torino from Italy, northwest part. Yeah. Closer to France, between France and Milan. As a city, it's cool, but now it's not. I mean, everything here is not cool anymore. With the paper, you need a paper to get out, to, go to, to work, or, you know, to go to the supermarket. You can go out if they catch you outside, they are really, really get in trouble. Yeah, it, it's, it's like a penal code. It's not just payment, but you can go to jail because you're just uh, doing st some stuff against the public, uh, public life, no? So the army is patrolling the the streets all the time everywhere in Italy. Yeah, not, not on the streets, but in the parks, parks and uh, garden because we have problem with the runner now. There's people still going running. Yeah. And no, no, and everybody say, oh, the runner, bad person because they have to stay at home. And so now they put the army in the garden, in the public um, parks. Yeah, as I told you, there's people fighting against the the runners, but they are not the problem actually. Because people get in contact in that workplace. But can you can you go I run, mean, or or you, you cannot even uh, go in the park? Actually, I can't. If I have to, if I go walk, I have to stay two hundred meter around my my uh, my house. Actually, I mean you have to to be controlled to do stuff because there are more more people. Is not you don't don't care about it. So for everybody have to pay for this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's not easy. We are 60 million person. So everybody think by their own mind. I think they can do everything they want and it's difficult to control them. But because they want to, to do like China. I mean, it's impossible doing like China, but uh, they, in China, they stop everything. They control people by app and also they can go out. I mean, I think they did the uh, real military stuff that is impossible to do in a democratic play, uh, country. But is Italy a democratic country? Supposed to be. <laughs> you know, now all the problem now are just passing over. Nobody remember it. Yeah. No, they're just now it's just Corona problem. I'm one of the lucky that is still going to work, so I get out. I can get out and enjoy like fresh air and on my scooter, on my bike. I'm working in a market. Already one month ago, they got crazy about it, so they just came to the shop and buy everything. And this kind of stuff is still continuing because people need food or believe to need a lot of food, so they buy pasta and uh, juice and everything you need to survive for one month. Luckily, the supermarket every day or every two days receive new stuff, so there is uh, every everybody can find everything, actually. There are some stuff that is difficult to find, like uh, alcohol, to clean or just uh, and wash gel, you know, sanitary stuff and uh, gloves. It's really hard to find it. Margarita, uh, she's okay. She she's working in a hospital. Yeah. Uh, one of the, in, yeah in the intensive unit care, and so it's supposed to be one clean hospital, so without COVID uh, patients. But there is too much need of uh, bed and. Uh, Ventilator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they have to, um, to open also for COVID, and now they are full of people with COVID. She's really tired. Everybody working in the hospital are really She's tired. Working. There's still uh, there are still some bed in the regions, but uh, you have to take the the patients and move it from a place to another. They are just doing like a chess play to fix everybody. They are coming a team of doctors from Cuba and Russia and China, it's, it's hard. Oh. Here is, is, is becoming really hard. In Lombardia, the region closer to mine, in Milano, the situation is really, really bad. It's worse because there are no place, no bed, so people just have to flew in other city, have to fly to other city. 
there are sadly images of um, army trucks bringing uh, died, died people on the on the box to other cemetery to burn it because there's too much people in the cemetery and uh, they can't uh, they can't afford it. Milano is the a business city uh, where there are universities and uh, everything you can can find in a big city that develop. But most of the people is from South Italy. When one month ago the um, the government decided to close the city, the most most of the southern people just run away from Milano and coming back from their home in the south. And now the problem is. More, some some of these people just bring the contain the, the virus in the south, but the um, hospital, the system, uh, sanitary system in the south of Italy is not comparable to the north. So there there will be another problem in one or two weeks. Do you know anybody who has it? Uh, actually, I have an uncle, a parent, uh, part of family of my mother living in. Um, in lead in uh, Swiss, he died for uh, Corona. Uh, yeah, he was uh, an elderly one, but yeah, actually, it's it's a person, so it's it's a bit strange. It was yeah. good, and the day after, it's not. Huh. It's just one of the thousand and thousand of people uh, dying. Is that your new apartment? Did you move? Yeah. We came here in February. We were working on it and uh, you know buying stuff uh, to be to be able to live a yeah. normal life. And but now we have to wait. I don't know when to receive uh, the furniture to, re to receive the catch okay, <laughs> or the table. Uh, what? So you don't have your furniture? We don't. We don't have a couch. We have an empty room uh, waiting to be to, to live inside because everything is stopped. Yeah. The dealer uh, actually we have two yeah. balconies so we can enjoy outside with the the wood. <laughs> okay. oh, yeah. We have the wood in front of us so okay. it's chilling. You can see the bird. You can hear the river. So we can enjoy it outside. But if you live in the city center. Huh? Where is it coming line. from? Uh, I think it comes from the road down there. Well, what is happening? Uh, now it's like at 6 o'clock p.m. It's like the Italian moment, so they put the music outside on the road. Uh, people just sing, usually it's the national team with uh, some popular Italian songs, stay together, a kind of uh, spending time with other people, but with distance, you know, it's nice. Do you sing uh, <laughs> Una Corona? <laughs> also, they sing Bella Ciao, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Con but parmigiano, I have not any, any corona, so corona, corona, ciao, ciao. <laughs> Amici di Jonathan, quando tutto questo sarà finito, le porte dell'Italia saranno aperte per voi, colline, montagne, bottiglie di vino e ottimo cibo. Mi raccomando, venite e aiutateci a superare questa situazione.